hello friends uh, welcome to my channel and um, i want to thank you everybody who um, seen my channel uh, thanks a lot uh, for viewing my uh, videos uh, i just uh, request you guys to please subscribe my channel it actually gives me uh, more encouragement to uh, make uh, uh, videos on uh, other topics as well as other vendor and uh, mm, mm, I'll also request one more thing to please press the bell icon so that whenever I upload any video you'll get a notification of that video and uh, so that you'll be um, just uh, see those uh, new topics which uh, I'm going to cover uh, next so uh, friends today uh, we're gonna talk about multi context um, in ASA in ASA what multi context uh, does it mean is uh, we can say uh, divide a physical firewall into two or more uh, um, virtual firewalls so why we need to do is like let's say we have uh, two customers okay this is also a client this is and web server So, if this client wants to access this application, and if this wants to access this application, the traffic separations will be uh, different. So, uh, client one, uh, uh, client one will go from this context, and client two will go from this context. Okay. Even uh, it is very easy to uh, troubleshoot. Let's say client one reported uh, they are not able to access any application. We need to troubleshoot on uh, on this uh, firewall, not on this firewall. So it also uh, in beneficial for troubleshooting. Okay. So uh, so friends, um, I have taken a very simple example today. Okay. So we're gonna see mm, uh, how mm, we need to uh, configure context and what are the process of it. Okay. Now I'll go to AC. We'll start the practical. First, you need to see what mode the uh, firewall is running. So if you see the mode, it's single context. So what we need to do is we need to go to config mode multiple okay so once we do this multiple uh, mode multiple the firewall will be restart so why it uh, will restart us it actually change the mode and it creates a, fa a flexibility to create a context and uh, okay now once it get rebooted it will uh, create a default uh, context that is called admin context what is the use of admin contact uh, context is when we do login to asa firewall so what Cisco recommends is uh, you um, terminate all your management connection to admin context and from admin context you can switch to other contacts as well. Okay. So <coughs> let's say you have two contacts. So if you log into admin context you can change to other contacts as well. So mm, this is how uh, the Cisco has made it this so uh, I'll just pause the video uh, whilst this ASA get restarts so our firewall got restarted now and if you see I'll show you one more thing here if you see this it actually creates a uh, admin context which I was mentioning just now okay so if you go 
show mode it will show multi context okay now what you need to do uh, to create a multi context is no all the configurations are blank if you see the context you will be seeing only one context what is what this is is we are saving this uh, saving the configuration of the context to disk 0 or we can say, uh, save to another disk or flash memory anything we need to just uh, give a name of uh, that uh, configuration file it will get saved so mm, we will create two context that is c1 and c2 ok actually what I did is I have uh, actually um, uh, saved uh, some configuration so that it will be very faster to configure it ok so I've just saved it here. Before that, I'll show you. See, this AC01 is connected to G0 by 0 of switch. One is connected to 0 by 0. So to configure this, we need to make 0 and our interface 3. Okay. So zero will be our ether zero. Zero three will be context one. Z zero and three will be context one. One and two will be our context two. So first we need to configure context C1. We need to give configuration will get saved in disk 0 with the name of C1. Now we need to allocate the interface to that context okay now we need to go to context 2 if you see the uh, disk 0 you will be able to see I guess we have not uh, started the configurations so it, it, it is not showing okay I'll just show you after the configuration signal. Now what we need to do is we need to change to context C1. First we'll configure C1. Now if you see here we are in C1 context. Okay. Before that I need to go to system okay and I need to unshut all the interface no shut no shut no shut no shut ok change to context c1 ok now we need to configure the this is outside this is outside this is inside I'll mention on this so that it will be very much clear about you. this will be outside This is in 
Let's have a look. So E zero, it will be outside, and uh, our E two, our E two will be inside. Okay. And we need to give some routes. Okay, we have given routes. Now we need to configure the contacts too. See contacts two. Okay. We need to configure first one. This will be outside and three will be inside. And uh, I just wanted to uh, tell you that if you turn on the multi context mode, ESA doesn't support dynamic routing protocol as well as VPN. It doesn't support it. So this is uh, kind of uh, a drawback that we have I can say or in that uh, Cisco is rectifying in in his uh, upcoming uh, firewall so that they are making some new mm, uh, OS so maybe in upcoming models this problem will not be there okay now As we have given our things, so configuration wise it is looking fine. So well text. Now what we do is we will initiate a connection from this switch to this switch. Or we can do it from this router to this switch. And we'll see from where the connection is going so if you see the switch IP address the above switch is switch 1 okay. show IP interface brief so 2 we need to log in here okay now with switch 1 I'll try to log in This telnet ten dot ten dot one dot two dot hundred that we have seen right if you see this connection so from <coughs> here I am trying to initiate the connection so it should go via C1 so if you see the connection you are able to see the connection for 10.20 from this switch to this switch 100 I will clear the connection I will show you the IP address clear connection all ok so if you see show IP interface brief so I am initiating on VLAN 10 so the traffic is going like this the same thing if I do it on 4.100 ok this is 4.100 now if, it, if I do a telnet and if I change to contacts C2 you 
if I do tell net see the connection it is going to 100 4 dot 100 it is initiating from 3 dot 100 if I change change to contact C1 there will be no connection no connection so it actually segregate the traffic so if you see that it's a different virtual firewall I have made from this switch to this switch this subnet belongs to C2 this one and this subnet belongs to C1 so when I initiate a connection from this switch to this IP it goes via this goes via this if I initiate a connection from this to this it goes like this so it uh, uh, it actually s uh, tell you uh, that it actually separates the physical uh, firewall to two different firewall okay. okay so context c c2 okay so uh, this is a very simple <laughs> example i have taken uh, for this video to understand what multi context what is the useful what is the use case of it uh, in the next um, video i'll be covering more depth of uh, context what is the use of context and all um, i just wanted to um, thank you so much for viewing this video uh, i think uh, this video will be very helpful to understand what multi context in ASA. Thank you so much.